We are going to be palpating pectoralis major. So we're going to be navigating around chest tissue in this. Um, we're going to be starting off with the insertion of pectoralis major, which is on the lateral lip of the bicipital groove. So I'm just going to grab her arm here, bring it out. I'm looking at the most anterior and proximal aspect of the humerus. I'm going to use an internal and external rotation and try to identify where this biceps tendon is. This is the long head running up through the bicipital groove. Uh, pectoralis major is going to the lateral lip of this bicipital groove, otherwise called intertubercular sulcus. I'm going to have her just lift her own arm up off the table for a moment here, and right away I'm starting to feel this tendinous insertion point into that bicipital groove. She can bring her arm down. Now, pectoralis major has some interesting quality because of how large it is. So we have some clavicular fibers that are running in this direction, but you have underneath some abdominal fibers that are running up. So it almost feels like it folds over top of itself. So you might feel quite a thick band towards the bottom, but there's also tendon running all the way up. So our insertion is quite large in comparison to other muscles. This is a very large mover of your upper extremity. So I'm just grabbing that whole muscular tennis kind of attachment here going into our insertion. So we will be breaking this up into three components. So we have a clavicular fiber, we're gonna have our sternal fiber, and then we're gonna go through and discuss what I call the abdominal fibers, um, which help us perform three major kind of movements of horizontal adduction. So the arm is going to be coming up in a flexion motion, going across the body like so in that horizontal adduction. We can bring it into a straight horizontal adduction, which brings it across the body like so. And if the arm is above the head, it produces extension from this flex position, almost like you're touching your opposite hip. So this upward motion here is a big, large component of the clavicular head, the straight across is going to be more from the sternal head coming towards the sternum and then this downward motion from more what I call the abdominal head. So we're going to be going through the origins now since that was the insertion and the first aspect is going to be up here on the clavicle. Is it okay if I move your strap just to the side a little bit? Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to pull this over just so it's a little bit easier for us to see. I'm going to again have her hold her arm up in the air and right away can start to feel that edge along this clavicle, so it's attaching to that anterior and inferior part of the clavicle as it runs its way all the way along towards the sternum. Now, if you are working in and around chest and breast tissue, what you might ask your partner to do is take their opposite hand and just push down on breast tissue, and therefore you're able to get a little bit more palpation. So I'm working my way. So again, here is our clavicular aspect of it. If the arm is brought up across the body, I'm going to give her a little bit of resistance this time. So you can feel the head is about this wide. And again, it's going to make its way over towards a little bit more on the inferior part of that insertion point in here. Okay, the second part of this, the sternal head is going to be running down the sternum as well as attaching to the costal cartilages of ribs one through seven. So for this, we're going to again ask our individual here to create a border for us. So she's going to be reaching inside and kind of pushing breast tissue laterally, which kind of opens up the proximal part of the chest here. So as I find the medial end of the clavicle at that sternal clavicular joint, I'm going to drop just below that, and this is going to be the costal cartilage of rib number one. I feel a little interosseous space. We have rib number two interosseous space, rib number three, and I'm not going to go any lower at the moment until I ask her to readjust her border. So at the top here we have our manubrium and we have the body of the sternum. I'm going to ask her to go a little bit lower with her bordering and lift up into the side a little bit. Thank you very much. And this time I'm going to approach from the bottom. So the lowest cartilage to attach to the sternum is costal cartilage of rib number seven. So as I follow this kind of softness of the abdomen up, the costal cartilage of rib seven is gonna meet on both sides near the xiphoid process, marking the bottom of the sternum. So I know that this right here is the costal cartilage of rib number seven, and just above that is gonna be rib number six, and above that is gonna be rib number five. So again, pectoralis major is attaching to all costal cartilages along the sternum from one down to seven. 
and then it's going to work its way lateral. So for this instance, we're going to again adjust our bordering one more time. She's going to scoop breast tissue up with the opposite arm. I'm going to bring this arm up. So this again was producing a downward motion like so. And I'm just going to rest my hand below her hand border. And I'm going to give her a little bit of resistance on her arm. And therefore I can start to feel this abdominal aponeurosis as well as follow the muscle lateral along the costal cartilage of six and seven. You can then start to go up and feel that outer edge of the pec and I'm going to work my way back up towards the axilla and the armpit staying lateral to her hand and again this is the under part of it so you have that clavicular head over top and the abdominal part is going up underneath a little bit higher towards the superior aspect of its insertion. So we've worked our way all the way around all attachments of that as well as found the insertion of that. And I'm just gonna show you one more quick way to pick it up. Again, I'm gonna ask her to push down on her breast tissue with the opposite hand. Using a scooping motion, you wanna try to find the outer edge here. So you're either gonna go up underneath, I might put my thumb inside, I'm gonna shorten it and then I'm able to kind of pick up and lift this pectoralis major. So that gives me access if I needed to lift this and I can also easily follow it right to its insertion point. Okay, that's gonna conclude our palpation of pectoralis major.